What's up, sons? It's Blinder. I'm with Son of the Tech once again, and welcome to the 13th episode of Mining Rig Wars. If you haven't voted on the previous two episodes, be sure to do that because next week will be the finals. So the winners of these three episodes, this episode today and the previous two, will be entered into the finals to win some sweet crypto. We're not going to be doing BTC because of transaction fees, so if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comment section below of what cryptocurrency we should go with. And we will go from there, probably do a vote in the Discord. I'll create a poll so you guys can head on over to the Discord with the links in the description below and vote on which cryptocurrency we're going to give out for next week's finals. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. So the first rig, rig A, is going to be Ultimate Crypto by Felipe. He's rocking the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard with a G4400 processor, 8 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4, and a total of 8 Radeon RX 580 8GB Armor Overclocked Editions with an EVGA Supernova 1600 watt power supply powering all of the parts. His total hash rate is 242 mega hash a second. The open air frame looks like one that you would purchase off various retailers online. Let us know, Felipe, if you did build that yourself because it looks like there was some drilling and tapping going on for the GPU mounts there. So that would be pretty neat if you have that all documented. Next we have Rig B overclocked and underclocked by Allen. And he's rocking a Xeon Power Reel 1000 watt ATX power supply with a Corsair CX750M power supply. All the necessary risers and four GTX 1080 Ti's with eight gigabytes of DDR3. And it appears that even though he didn't include the actual motherboard and processor that he's rocking an AM3 motherboard with some sort of AMD processor. I can just kind of tell by that cooler, that stock cooler from AMD there. Other than that, let us know in the comment section below what you're running because I always like to know compatibility with PCIe slots, etc. on older hardware because knowing that can help us build some good used mining rigs. His total hash rate is 2700 solutions a second. Next we have Rig C IC Miner by Michael rocking the Celeron G3900 processor with 4 gigabytes of crucial memory. He has the Biostar TB250 BTC motherboard and an 80 gigabyte hard drive out of an old laptop. Good repurposing there. He has the GTX 1066 gigabyte cards from MSI and a total of six of them with a Corsair CX430 power supply powering the motherboard and two Dell DPS 1200 watt server power supplies with eBay breakout boards. I'm assuming he's not using both of these power supplies for this particular rig as he did mention he has a couple other rigs running there. Let me know in the comments section below though Michael to confirm that total hash rate is 133 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig D Crypto Aussie and he is rocking some crazy stuff here. He does have the triple A wave 6 GPU mining frame so you can purchase that and I'll try to leave a link in the description below next to it and it features the Arctic F12 fans 120 millimeters. The rest of the parts include a Biostar TB250 motherboard with a G3930 processor, two EVGA GTX 1070 Superclocked editions, and four EVGA GTX 1070 Super Superclocked editions, and that one has the gaming ICX cooler on it. So let us know in the comment section below if you notice a huge difference in cooling potential between those two. When I tested for gaming, I didn't notice much between the ACX cooler and the ICX cooler but other than memory, and I think that matters more for mining. So yeah, just out of curiosity, let us know. Also included in the parts list is a Corsair Vengeance 2-pack of 8 gigabytes of memory, unbuffered, blah, blah. He's got an EVGA 850-watt modular power supply and a Corsair Enthusiast Series 850-watt power supply and a Mushkin Enhanced Kronos 120GB SSD. His total hash rate is 2400 to 2500 solutions a second. The curious thing that we can make here or the comparison is that on this rig, 
he's running 2400 to 2700 solutions with six 1070s. While on the previous rig we just looked at, he has only four 1080 Ti's and is running 2700 solutions a second. So just kind of an interesting note in case you guys are comparing and contrasting which GPUs you should get, you know, uh, there. Next we have Rig E NVIDIA Miner by George. He's rocking a G1840 processor with the classic ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard. This is the revision 2. 4 gigabytes of DDR3 with a 120 gigabyte SanDisk SSD, an EVGA 850 watt power supply, and six ASUS dual GTX 1063 gigabyte cards with the Razer Risers version 006. Total hash rate is 122 mega hash a second. So wrapping things up, you guys always like to have a couple thoughts from me, so we're gonna do this. Starting with Rig E, I really dig that you have an ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard just cause that's kind of the originator or one of the originals for Pro BTC motherboards, it's pretty slick. I like seeing that. I like that you only have four gigabytes of memory, so super slick there. The shelving system looks great. Some better pictures would have been nice because I can't really see below there what's going on with the rest of the components other than the GPUs. I would like to know what those 1063 gigabytes managed to get in solutions a second, just to compare them since we had a couple of those with the 1070 rig and the 1080 rig. So if you could leave it in the comment section below for us, George, that would be pretty neat. Next is Rig D Crypto Aussie. I mean, this is a pretty basic, basic build. I think that everything here is laid out really well, other than I guess the mismatch uh, 1070s. If that two pack of memory is two sticks of eight gigabytes, then, oh, that would be so much money. <laughs> so memory is just so expensive right now. So mi min maxing, like I've talked about before, is pretty uh, pretty important, especially when we start talking about 16 gigabytes of memory in cost at this point. So other than that, you could work on some cable management so you don't get a house fire there. That would be that would be good. On Rig C IC Miner, everything here is pretty slick. I'd like the custom built wood frame. I assume that's custom built. If you built it yourself, let me know in the comment section below, Michael. The only complaint here is the two Dell server power supplies. I'm assuming you already had those and that's why you're repurposing them. I just need to know if that's kind of dispersed across all of your rigs or if you literally have two Dell power supplies at 1200 watts powering what is effectively only six 1060s. Obviously not needed if you look at rig E, you can get away with a lot less power consumption there. So I, I, I'm just curious, curious. Also, are those 110 or 220? Let me know in the comment section below as well. Rig B overclocked and underclocked gets the best name of the week, of course, I mean, easily. So you win there. I want to know what processor you're running in there. If it's an FX series, are you mining Kryptonite as well on top of that? Or are you just mining the Zcash at this point? And then finally, Rig A Ultimate Crypto. I just want to know about that case pretty much. I mean, this is a pretty basic, straightforward build. This is a build that if you guys are looking for an example of how to build a mining rig, even today, that this day in 2017 and going into 2018, the RX 580s are great cards. And if you can pick up eight of them, awesome. I would like to know if you could expand that because you do have the ASRock H110 Pro BTC motherboard. So you could potentially go up to 13 cards. You might have to switch around the OSs, et cetera. Let me know if that's in your plans for the near future in the comment section below. And that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to vote for your favorite rig up here in the corner with the exclamation point. And if you do that, we will determine the winner and throw them into the finals for next week, and that'll be slick. If you guys want to find some pools to mine too, go to coins.sonofatech.com. Don't forget to come by and say hi in the Discord channel and talk mining rigs and et cetera, crypto in general. We also have some bots that you can look up pricing, et cetera, right there in our Discord, so it makes it super slick and easy. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.